Hey guys, welcome to today's One Six Galaxies video. Today we are going to be taking a look at MMS 671, that being the Black Panther original suit version. So this is kind of like a 2.0 to the Black Panther they did a while ago that had the um, UV lights and everything with the T'Challa um, swappable sculpt. Now, um, I never got that figure because uh, at the time, I thought, well, those go into the more Black Panther figures, and the UV setup and stuff just made it one of the more expensive uh, figures. Um, and then, sadly, obviously, we knew that that wasn't to be the case, but then we have this, which is more of, like, a commemorative um, figure. So, this is um, an advanced release, as say, because I purchased this from Amazon Japan, um, not from Australian retail. It should be hitting Australian retail sometime soon, hopefully, but um, currently it is not uh, out yet unless um, you've gone with somebody that sourced it from uh, Hong Kong or another region. Um, now, I was really fortunate enough that Amazon Japan did have a really good deal on this guy. So he was about um, 405 Australian, I think. And then I was able to combine um, my Telstra points to get an Amazon gift card uh, to bring that down to... 355 I believe is what I paid for this guy with postage so um, an insane amount much cheaper uh, than some of the prices that we're going to see at Australian retail um, when this guy finally arrives all right let's take a look so we can see that the box ha does have some wonderful art uh, showcasing the Black Panther I don't know if there we get that Black Panther and then we have the information uh, to say that it is MMS 6 71 six scale figure but it's the original suit version and then of course um we get that art and all of those um i would say wakandian uh letters uh on the sides of the box it just tells you that it is a black panther um and this is a shoe style uh box similar to what we get uh with the star wars figures so i'm just going to move that out of the way um having uh, said that we do of course get like an art lift out um this time uh we do get a image of the panther uh with the claws going through it no writing or anything on it as i said i believe that they really meant this uh to be like a commemorative type of a piece just gonna move that forward Alrighty, we are going to start off um, with the accessories. So he does come with a style of, I mean, a variety of hands. Um, two, four, five, seven hands. Uh, I have left the fisted uh, hands uh, on him. I actually haven't done anything with the figure except for kind of taking him out of the box and um, put him on the stand. So we do get this hand for holding the uh, spear accessory, which we're going to see soon. Um, but we can see the wonderful uh, textured and printing on this, as well as the retracted uh, panther claws um, sculpted into the gloves. So that's really, really quite cool. And then you can see the more um, combat suit style uh, elements on that uh, glove as well, which is really, really quite cool. Uh, we are going to get this kind of a uh, grabbing hand, I suppose. Um, so again, showcasing those panther claws um, in those combat elements, um, again, just really, really nicely, um, detailed. Uh, so this time we are going to get two kind of, like, attacking hands. Oh, sorry. Um, we do get that grabbing kind of a hand. Uh, in the other hand as well. So we do get a right, a right and left hand that are completely um, the same. I suppose you could probably say that it's a combat hand with the claws um, retracted. Now we are going to get um, a right or left attacking hand. So it's very much the same style as that hand from before, but this time the claws are out. Uh, so we can see the texture on the inside 
in the outside, but of course we see these really nicely detailed uh, panther claws that are out and ready for attacking, um, which is really quite nice. And of course we get, like I said, we get the other side as well. Um, so we are going to get a shield. Um, the instructions uh, will tell you how to set this up. It is plastic, but they've done a really, really good job of uh, ensuring that it looks wooden. And then we get the straps at the back. Um, nothing too fancy, but um, at least if you're displaying it like this, as it's designed to be, um, then it's going to look quite nice. Um, we are going to get the spear. Uh, so again, it's got those really nicely detailed grips on it. Um, we kind of have this rope bit hanging down. Of course, it's all plastic, but it looks fantastic. And then, of course, we get the uh, silver bit of the spear as well. Um, now, uh, they say you can place this over the sculpt. I won't be doing that, but we do get this... Um, this really nice kind of ceremonial style panther mask, so you can see all the gold on the thing. Um, it does look really nicely detailed, uh, but it's probably something that I won't use, or um, I might just have it resting on the shield or something. But um, it's a nice touch, and it does fit over uh, the sculpt. Uh, so of course, we get the second sculpt, and oh my god, I, this, this sculpt is really good. Um, there are a fair few people I've seen that don't like it. Um, I'm not sure why, because um, it is a, a fantastic sculpt. Granted, you really do need the right lighting um, for it to pass um, off as being the correct uh, skin colour type of thing. But um, I definitely think it looks like Bozeman, and I think they've done a terrific uh, job. Um, in creating the sculpt. We'll see more of that shortly. Uh, the final accessory we of course we get is our display stand. Uh, it tells us it's the Black Panther and then we have this really awesome Panther uh, logo there. Um, I do still have the protective film on it. I didn't really want to uh, damage the base too much by trying to um, pull it off. It is really uh, tight to get off. There were no um, loose tabs. Alrighty. Let's get the panther himself out here. Alrighty. So we do have a more, um, we do have a s mask more suited to combat uh, on the actual figure when we take him out of the box. Um, we can, of course, see all the detailing um, that is on it. We see the detailing on the collar and everything. This guy is just full of intricate, intricate, intricate um, detail. And again, I, I do apologise that the, um, the lighting is going to kind of flare up a bit. Um, so we can see foot there, you can see all the detailing, the suit making it look very um, combat friendly. So just a quick um, little comparison there, we have the traditional mask versus the actual combat mask, ceremonial mask I should say. Turn to the side for a bit, we can see all that intricate detail. We can see more of that vibranium. So this guy doesn't have any of those um, black light features that the previous one had, but I don't think we really needed any of that. Like I understand that it was the energy effect, um, but this is a much simpler uh, design, a much simpler um, figure. It is going to be quite similar to the Civil War version, um, but 
um, most of us are just buying this for the sculpt anyway. And like I said, at the great price that I got it for, um, it was impossible to say no. This is a great chance um, for people that didn't get it the first time around. As I did say, the price of those um, black light, that display stand for the light, lighting everything really did push up uh, the price of that original Black Panther release. All right, we'll do a super quick um, head sculpt swap and then we'll just swap over. So really simple. You don't have to worry about neck joints or anything. You just simply pop it off and then pop it on. Just fix him up so he's still standing up straight. Um, and again, I think uh, that this looks absolutely fantastic. Um, so again, you can have him holding the shield or the spear, or you can have him just like so. Um, however you're going to want to display him, it's going uh, to look fine. Um, again, they do say that you can kind of just pop this over, um, but I really don't want to risk um, damaging the sculpt, so not uh, going to do that. Um, so yeah, um, in terms of icon, we're thinking that there will probably be an icon update sometime this week. Um, if it's not this week, then it will probably definitely be next week. Um, I'd say definitely, uh, we'll definitely see an update by the 31st. Um, if we don't, it would mean that the batch should have been delayed even further, um, which would mean we would get a seriously ridiculous batch in November, and um, I just can't picture that happening. However, that did happen um, December last year, uh, where we had a batch, um, and then um, around the beginning of December, and then uh, Boxing Day-ish, um, we got another um, crazy batch. So it'll be... Um, interesting to see if that happens again, but I'm really hoping it doesn't. Anyway guys, this has been a look at the Black Panther original suit, MMS671. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at this figure as much as I've enjoyed making this video, and that you found the information helpful. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.